Hello, Goran Gizer on view. This time we're going to be on sale on the 3rd of April. Good grief. Uh, 3rd of April, big furniture sale. 280 lots of furniture, both sides of the warehouse, full of all sorts of curiosities to come and look at and buy and take away as quickly as possible, please. <laughs> Including things like models of tiger moths, or gypsy moths, I forget which. Um, 1096 either way whichever one you prefer it to be nice big victorian bookcase over there long case clocks wine racks seating furniture desk furniture beds things for the garden beckstein pianos it's all here so come along and look at the warehouse and go around and check it all out and we're going to look at what's in the smalls but before we go and look at the smalls how about what's in the car park do you need to keep them in or keep them out Fencing, look at this. This is wrought iron, sort of in a way, park style fencing lot 1220A. We have a huge quantity of it, and it's, it's quite clever really because it's um, the bases are spiked, so you can just bang them in and then it all slots together, links together, tied all up, and you'll be able to fence the grounds of your estate. Uh, so, yeah, do have a look at that. Lots of it, plenty of other garden pots as well. Yeah. Okay, so here we are in the smalls, and first thing to catch our eyes is lot 1284. Super. Rather smart looking uh, leather um, gun case. And uh, nice, nice quality lock on it. It's stamped the Purdy Lightweight. Yeah. And popping this little catch here and undoing the straps, we open it up, and inside, lovely. James Purdy and Sons, Shame. gun and rifle makers. Shame the gun's not in it. Yes, it is, isn't it? It's lovely, isn't but it? Yeah, lovely, lovely gun case, that. I'm sure someone will enjoy that. Yeah. Um, so, what else have we got in the sale? As always, some assorted Chinese ceramics, including a collection of sort of footed bowls and other porcelain. A lot of it bought out in um, Hong Kong and the like in the sort of 60s and 70s. You're right there. You're sort of... <laughs> I've got to... Th uh... Yeah, You've removed sale. a lot ticket <laughs> yes, on my foot. from a sale on the 13th of March. <laughs> has that been and gone? It has, hasn't it? It we'll has, yeah. That on. There we go. Right. Um, yes, uh, something, ha something completely different. There we are, 1274. We've attractively stuck the lot number right on the middle of the dial. I love that green. There we green. go. It's but like yeah, the green is nice. So we often see the red boule work. Um, so it's quite nice to see the green. It's mm. rather distinctive, isn't it? Yeah. Um, really got a handsome nice. colour. A little bit of repair there up the top. Obviously damage to the dial. So it's going to need some attention or just living with but yeah nice color we Very like nice. that and next door that, those are nice yes don't like these look 1273 yeah. japanese earthenware satsuma nice shape oh, the double shape, gourd shape mm. these nice little fan shaped uh, panels within it um, not too much going on underneath by way of marking additional relief molded leaves and the like so there we are those are lot 1273 mm. otherwise oh, nice. um all sorts of curiosities you you drift by yes uh no that's not that's fine so don't dwell on that please okay it's been moved by oh, the it's been... oh i see right okay um so yes that's one not to look at yet but to look at later um hanging on down well we had one of these a while ago 1336 but with it should have a uh, windmill sails oh. that would fit here and would sort of slowly but surely go around and it was running um, there's the winding hole. It's rather sweet, isn't it? <laughs> yes. Through the door there. So it's an automaton um, windmill combined timepiece and barometer. Um, and if you've got a set of sails, then you're going to be in good position to do it. <laughs> because Otherwise, everyone does, yes. make them or enjoy it as it is. 1336. You do see lots of windmills without the sails on these days, don't you? Yes, so you on do. the ditchling, isn't yes. it? As an always. Yes. Uh, I'm looking at that, but not dwelling upon it. That's, no. it's, what it's about okay. these metally bits here? Metally bits. Yeah. Okay, well, you've got a cluster there, lot 1339 of sort of Chinese uh, Tang style horses in a mixture of metals, sort of soft metals, made to look like they're ancient, archaic right. pieces. Next to it, a reoffer from the fine sale, oh, this yes. uh, Figaro bronze, yeah. 19th century bronze. Um, just not the most fashionable of subject matters, but uh, still, you know, fair enough. Uh, and alongside it, 1342, these almost certainly WMF. Yeah, the numbering is typical for WMF, and there's the marks down the bottom. Um, little trinket dishes. We were looking at a book of WMF, yes, weren't we, we the were. other day? Yes. Um, and commenting on the difference between their secessionist styles and their more traditional modelling. Foxes? Yes, we've probably got Dalton in there somewhere, or Beswick. Handsome fox. 
Um, but anyway, a mixture of model foxes, mm -hmm. as you see them there. Yeah. Some crusty old wine. Gosh, some really crusty. Very crusty, yeah. yes. Um, then if you step right down this way, a few nice pictures as ever. Mm. Coming around the corner of 1367, it's a model of uh, Elandra Jaguar, which is uh, for a tanker for Elandra. Wow. Um, it's quite a thing, isn't it? Yes, it is. It's made. I mean, it looks to be mostly made from sort of plastic components and the like, but it's not a kit, you know, it's made, no doubt made by the SPP Shipbuilding Company Limited, according to the plant. So there we are, that's quite a thing. A uh, lot of ceramics going on out here this time. Uh, as ever, you know, Staffordshire, not what it used to be, but here's quite a juicy lot of Staffordshire. You get the usual sort of child couples and the like, but there's a little bit different here. Look, they're all studying a mm. prayer book or similar. Yeah. There, that is... I quite like the lurcher. There we go. With the rabbit, I think. Uh, the lurcher with the rabbit. 1457. Oh, down the bottom, yeah. Yeah, exactly. So, a little bit different. We've got some high women here. Tom King, Dick Turpin. <laughs> so, yeah, a, a mixed lot of mixed ages there. Not all of it's old. I can say that for certain. Um, and then, yes, more more... Staffordshire lurking here and there, angle poise lamps and the That's like. That's a very flowery picture. That's a very flowery picture. Yes. It's got 1703. I was looking at signed Middleton Holding right down the bottom there. Wow. Can you see it? Oh, yes. Yeah, yep. 1946 yes. or something from memory. Oil on canvas. That's very eye catching. It's very eye catching. There's something in the colours, isn't there? Yes. It's quite bold. Yes. Um, as is this, there's a Russian picture here. But 1704. Yeah, no, then. No, nice. it doesn't do it for you in the same way. But, but you know, each to their own. Uh, or a great big nice. whaling, naive whaling oh, no, that's picture not there. Thing. American whaling, mm. but obviously not of the period. Mm. Um, but a very desirable subject matter. Really? Know. Yes. Gosh. Yes, whaling is very popular. Um, so stem cups we talked about, 1409 from that collection. Oh, there's a, pretty there's a pair. They're quite nice, aren't yes. they? Yes. Um, very pretty. Then carrying on along, nice little Chinese. Bronze head there, That's lovely, isn't 1452. It? She's nicely modelled. Yes. Look. Mm. What's that? Just pop that back up there. That's that. Glass. More stem cups. A beaver on a ledge. Everybody like you do. Beaver on a ledge. Yeah. Absolutely. Yes. You haven't spoken very much about art today. Art. Okay. Art. Let there be art. Well, so, I just wondered if there's anything. Well, here's a pretty. Yes, like Summer is coming. Yeah. Um, so S S Sylvester Stannard, there are various Sylvester Stannards. This is Teresa Sylvester Stannard. Yeah. And they all sort of like painting thatched cottages and flowery gardens, but that's one by her. Um, you know, nice herbaceous borders yeah, and what pretty. have you. Pretty thing. Nice mm. label on the back. Good order. Ready to go. Ready to hang on the wall. Estimate 150 to okay. 200 from nice. memory. Yeah. So, Look at this. Yeah. What's is this? Uh, this is uh, special. Well, this is almost certainly French. Yeah. Compare, faience. Um, Big thing. Have we got any marks? We've got no marks going on under there. Um, let's try under here. No, it doesn't want to tell us anything. But it's that sort of region, that French faience, tin glazed earthenware. Mm. Quite popular. Got a bit of age, this one, by the look of it. Looks like it could be early-ish 20th century and, and highly decorative. Yes, so, it uh, is, yes, exactly. Yes, that's hence why and, uh, people see, like it. Seagull and... So this is this, funny. The, these, these washed out bluey grey tones are mm. typical of Copenhagen, raw Copenhagen, oh, really? the other factory being Bing and Grondhal, B and G. Uh, and that's a fair size vase. Yes. With that sort of quite nice view. Yeah. Continuous landscape, we call it, because it continues all the way around. And underneath, we've got the mark for Royal Copenhagen ah, and what okay. have you. And with it, they've produced lots of model animals. And here's a tern um, with, a, fun, chipped, actually, with a chipped oh, beak, yeah. which you don't really see if you look from above. No. Little tip there. Mm. <laughs> um, so, uh, so, yes, that is that. Um, You've got uh, guns in the cell. Well, they're air rifles. Know. They're not gun guns. So is um, that why we're allowed to sell them? I believe so, yes. Um, nice little desk timepiece up there. Nice sort of 30s look to it. That is lot number 1397. That is it's heavy. It's substantial. Oldie. It's got a nice original case. Mm. Um, down here, how about some glass? This is very much like the sort of Moser factory of Austria, 1395. Nicely done, perhaps a slight traditional sort of scene for today's mm. market, Yeah. Uh, but quality in with a sort of later. That mug is very thing. pretty colours. The mug, which one at the back? Yes, Okay, so that's Chinese export porcelain made 
1800s, 1790s, uh, for the West, um, mass produced, um, and uh, then it's had a rather <laughs> oh my goodness, <laughs> had yes. a bit of a fight. Wow! So it's it's a sort of um, specimen example. Yes. Um, along with a broken plate, <laughs> a Kuan Yin, a bowl, and a broken saucer. So oh. it's a but you know nothing wrong with that. There's that vase on the top shelf over there. Yes. Is smashed to pieces, and that made four thousand two hundred last week. Right. So um, they'll get their glue out. So it's worth sticking together. It can be worth sticking them yes. back together, particularly the older they are, then um, yes, they're worth restoration. Rum. Um, and... So yes, you're carrying on round. Um, Dan said- Oh, we've was... seen these before. Um, I'm sure we've seen this artist before. Benjamin Chi Chi. Yeah, yes. I think he's great. Canadian. Yes. They are prints, oh, these are not geese, aren't originals. They Canadian geese? Oh, well, he's right. Canadian. Yeah. He was Canadian. I think these are fun. Yeah. They are fun, aren't they? They're yes. quite stylish. I mean, unfortunately, that's discoloured. Yes. Um, but yeah, four prints in the lot, lot 1682. Mm. Uh, going past the Beaumont 12 year old whiskey, Very nice. we get probably Worcester, yes, the Worcester factory, the Yolica Tatsas, finely modelled, 1432. Dan said this was the best of these Dem Cups, 1433, with the nice big bold blue dragons upon it yeah that's very good isn't it you know 1960s a lot of us think that's not very long ago even if we were <laughs> born then but um there's uh for, for many people you know 60s is uh 60 years ago nearly so yes. um hence it's starting to be old some of that stuff uh, yeah. and we often i think value is sort of gloss over that the older they get uh, are you squeezing around here um, I'm squeezing round. Um, yeah. Just you're going to show us some jewelry. So we're going to have a look oh. and see what's over the back here. Oh yeah. And there's a nice old Dalton figure. So often we talk about the Dalton figures that are not easy to sell, um, but lot 1500 is pantalettes, uh -huh. and uh, she is just that bit better than standard. She's got some firing cracks running up her skirt, unfortunately, right the way up there. So that's going to set her back. But she's off that sort of 19. It's kind of like the, the, the 1930s and earlier are more desirable and then the later ones there's less of a demand for. Um, here's a bit of uh, flambe wear. Pretty. Unusual colouring. It's uh, Royal Dalton. Mm -hmm. a flambe mark there. But yes, often you see in those very dark ready tones. This one's a bit different. This is lot 1514. Um, there's, of course, Chinesey bits, jades and things. Um, there's a pair of Japanese bronze bookends. Oh, they're fun. Lot um, 1521 in bronze, sort of late Mayhe, I suppose. Uh, you'd stick your book here in the middle and the husband and wife are working together to hold the books in place, <laughs> um, is, is one way of looking at yes, it. Yes, exactly. Uh, then we did pick out a few bits from the uh, jewellery section to wet everyone's whistle with. Uh, but here in the silver, big piece of Chinese silver, um, tip, you see this pierced border quite commonly but the engraving is unusual to have quite such an engraved mm. center and we've got marks on the back um which someone like wang hing the 90 standard for the silver it's lot 1818 so that's quite nice, that's nice. in the jewelry what did we come across well uh, you, we picked out some bits didn't we just yeah, to, we did. you know there's a good selection in the jewelry 1925 yes. there's a nice little old sapphire and diamond cluster Sweet. Yeah. Not huge, but but just nice quality. This one's a real. So 1916. Nice. That's got some colour to it, hasn't it's it? Great colour. Very yeah. clean, very nice, bright and shiny. Mm. Uh, 1962. One of these pearl pendant brooches. Yep, it's got the brooch fitting as well as the drop for the pendant, um, and uh, they, they you get various forms and necklaces and the like. But that's not a bad example. The mm. shape is a bit better than usual. And 1888. Very stylish. Look at yes. that. These are popular, aren't they? Yeah, they are. Um, yeah, no, quite. It's sort of Belle Epoque. It's that 1900, 1910 sort of look. Yeah. Needs a clean up. But um, nice combination of stones. Good shape. That slight sort of Art Nouveau secessionist feel to it. Uh, so we like that. Mm. Uh, then here you said what's in 1930. Yes. So what is in 1930? Well, mostly Scottish pebble, agate or hardstone jewellery. Ah. There's a great big brooch. Yes. A little bit great different, coat. yeah. And there's a not quite so great big, but great fun brooch. Yes. Yeah, that's nice. And then in with it, there's a there's an old bracelet in silver set with some Victorian coins, and then there's another coin bracelet that looks like it's 
either be nickel plated or is more likely I could possibly repro this one. Right. Um, start with Throckney bits. So uh, and an Albert or an Albertina as they're sometimes called um, in silver with this sliding um, adjustment upon it. Right. So there we go. 1930. You get a little mixed lot for your money. You start yes. your Victorian jewellery collection off. Exactly. Um, finally, picked on this one. 1886. They're always going on about these things on the roadshow. Um, <laughs> the <coughs> excuse me. The Dirty Dozen watches produced for the British Army. Um, and there are different ones made by different companies, and some are rarer than others. This is the IWC, the International Watch Co. version. Um, it's, it's marked up on the back with the crow's foot and what have you and various numerals. Roger tells me that when it has a T on the back, it makes about 3,000 plus. This one does not have the T, but nevertheless should, should be. It's in at 1,500 to 2,000. It, it, it should make sort of more like two plus, he says, if it goes well. But there are flaws, you know, it's quite battered. It needs a new glass. The, whether the strap is right or not, it's very tired. So uh, it'll need some TLC, but when it's done, it's going to be a super and very collectible watch. Yeah. So there we go, all nice. sorts of goodies for you. Um, there'll be a gap after this sale for a bank holiday. Easter or something like that, I'm told. So, um, yes, make the most of it. Come along to this one because then you'll have a drought of, of two weeks before you can come and look at the rest exactly. of the junk we've got here. So, um, yes, have a good look. Send us questions. Come along with you and we look forward to seeing you. Thank you.